Hello again everyone, we hope we were finding you well in this uh, in these troubled times. In this video, a couple of things. The first one is we're continuing our cruise and that's going from a place called Croxton Aqueduct and we go through a wide beam lock and three narrow beam locks on our way through Middlewich making our journey along the Trent and Mersey and that's where we complete the video at that point now I did think that that was all the cruising <laughs> cruising uh, footage we had but since doing this video i've found some more so I, it's not a lot but i'll do another video to complete to complete the trip but that's not the important part in this one uh, we'll get to it later but first of all we hope you enjoy our next little journey again in beautiful weather just before everything closed down again and I think let's enjoy the cruise we hope you do this aqueduct what we're going over it's only narrow gauge now but Many years ago, it was wide. Obviously, it took the the wide beam boats up to Middlewich, but nowadays, this is purely for the narrow gauge. Morning.
love the way you go strap like that. <laughs> 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 I'm moaning about my family. <laughs> yeah. as, much as, I, as much as I love them, they do me head in. <laughs> and this prospect of Christmas is a nightmare. Yeah, especially when you're shopping everything online. I know. As expected, it's getting a bit busier here now. There's a very convenient water point up here. Just wonder whether we'll manage to use it or will there be too many boats there? Hopefully we're all right. Well, that's a little bonus. Nobody here, so we might as well top up with water.
water filled making our way to the making our way to the three locks at Middlewich we just have to see how the uh, higher fleet are performing because they do tend to make some quick manoeuvres here not the higher boaters the actual higher companies or the higher company not sure what's happening at the moment but we will hang about and trundle along and see what's going on like I've said before even though the well should have some volunteers on Bernadette's not a fan of these locks which is fair enough These three locks at Middlewich, we always seem to find them busy. We always do. On changeover day, when all the higher boats are coming out, it must be absolutely hectic. We do know a, a friend of ours who had the, you know, had the misfortune to be in it all when it was happening, and he said, never again. He said it was absolute bedlam. But we've just got it's like one out one in here where we are I personally I, I'm not too bothered about these locks but like I said Bernadette is always glad when she's done these then again our money steering Bernadette's the one walking around uh, doing all the locks that's what you do as well you steer a narrow boat you don't drive a narrow boat and yet so many people say they drive a narrow boat. <laughs> it's always amazed me that. Yeah, well, you 
I didn't find it too perfect, you know, I got, I got used to it. But um, this one is, and I don't normally like a story early because he loves it. My dad always did. He's got this old one. And I said, Dad, I want to leave the new one. When the lock above opens and I'm waiting in this lock, you'll see the boat start to move up and down. Because it's only a very, very short pound between both of these locks. You sort of get used to it and expect it. All right. Swing it round gently, and in we go. Nothing difficult about going into locks or coming out. It's the person steering. As long as you do it slow, yeah, I was going to say, it's the people who are steering the boat who make it difficult. Absolutely amazing how many people know Bernadette. She knows far many more people on the canal than she does at home. <laughs> See you again sometime. Yeah. All right. See you, yes. fun. All right. I hope you've got these two on camera. <laughs> you are. You are the working yeah. volunteers.
on the wall. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know Bernadette's not, you know, one of the greatest fans of these locks, but the one thing for certain, the volunteers on, on the Middle Witch locks are excellent and always very, very friendly. Doesn't never seems like a chore to them. They're eager to help every time we come, it's like that. So, a big thumbs up to the to the volunteer crew. We hope you enjoyed that little journey. Like I said, we'll do another one to close it all off while we found the extra footage. But the main reason for this is a different format. Why we can't go boating, we thought we might as well help anybody we can. You know, when we've been doing this for decades now, we tend to, we, we tend to pick up things. Not everything, we'll always be learning. That's what we always, you know, we've always been like that. We don't say we know everything. It's got to be like that. We learn things. And what we say is what we prefer, you know, and what we've moved on to over the years. That's us. If you want to take our advice, you're welcome. If you don't, you're welcome again. <laughs> it's entirely up to yourselves. But we want to help people because it's a minefield with boats, whether you're buying new or whether you're buying second hand. Loads of things. You know, we, we'll tell you about our favourite canals, where we would go, or where we've been, you know, maintenance, the marinas were around, you know, anything, anything goes, and you can ask us anything, and we will try our best to come up with an answer. But we'll not do it all in one go, because then you can gloss over things, and you can just like say, oh yeah, this is this and that, and then move on to it. We'll do it in sections, and we'll start with what I consider to be the important thing, and Bernadette does as well. And that is the narrowboat shell. The most important part. Not the interior. That can always be changed. It's lovely to have a nice boat inside. But the most important thing is to know about your narrowboat shell, whether new or second hand. There's really good boat builders, there's average boat builders and there's, whoa, keep away from builders. But I won't be able to, or we won't be able to go calling things because it's unfair on people who've got boats what we know not to be the best. So we won't name them, but we'll go through a few things for you in the hope that you can understand. So, what you do is ask anything in this in the vlog about what we're calling happy to help everyone will be called happy happy to help part one part two part three and part one is starting off with that shell ask what you want what to look for anything and what to expect from a shell that's what we want to do and if we can help anybody that makes that makes life easier get it right fantastic get it wrong it's a complete pain and it can it can, it can cost money and it can also make you lose the enjoyment of narrow boating it's true because we've seen people over the years and uh, there's been some nightmares but there's been lots of successes so that's what it's about get your questions in Shell only this week and we'll give you another topic next time. 
And what we'll do at some point, we'll do that little bit of video what we've got left, a cruising video what we've got. And uh, even in that, it's got a couple of surprises near the end. <laughs> but uh, that'll come as and when. It might be the next video out or we might do in a few weeks. But the main thing is, welcome to the Happy to Help series of vlogs. And we hope you find it enjoyable and you learn something. We might do as well. So, that's it. We'll uh, get on with it. And uh, I think I'll enjoy doing something like that and Bernadette will because that's the other thing I forgot to say. In the Happy to Help vlogs, Bernadette's going to be involved more because Bernadette had a lot of input in our boat as well you know she's she uh, it wasn't just down to me we as a couple set out to get what we've got and uh, it worked out very well right that definitely is it get your questions in we'll try our best to answer but for now as usual that's it we'll see you very soon Tara.